In this video, let's go over the original version of certain famous Backrooms images, starting with Backrooms level 11. So this is the image of Backrooms level 11 that you might be familiar with, and in case you're not aware what this level is, I will briefly go over it. So level 11 of the Backrooms is basically an endless city. There are buildings on this level, like in normal reality, but they're pretty weird, to say the least. Because stairs inside some of these buildings go nowhere, some of these buildings can be seen stacked on top of each other, and some of them can be seen floating, so it's a pretty strange place basically. It's also always daytime on this level, but it's not a very dangerous level because there are people living here. So that's what level 11 is basically. And as for where this image came from, well, as per the wiki.art article on level 11, this is the original version of this image that's being associated with level 11. And as for the place inside the photograph, it's apparently Bill Shire Boulevard at Hope Street in downtown Los Angeles. So that's where you will find level 11, I guess. And now let's move on to the Smiler. So in case you're not aware, the original Smilers had received a rewrite and as part of this rewrite, a new image was associated with this entity, this one. But before we move on to where this image came from, in case you don't know much about the Smiler entities, aka Entity 3, well, Smilers are basically background entities with glowing teeth and glowing eyes, who like to hang around in the dark parts of the majority of explored backrooms levels. These entities are attracted to light because they hate it, and will also attack people carrying lights in dark parts of the back rooms. There are also a couple of different variations of the Smiler, like the Frowner and the Rattler, but only the Smiler is relevant for this video. Anyways, as for where this image of the Smiler came from, well, it's from this video. The one where a man finds a hazing alligator in a sewer. The link to that video is in the description, so the image used in the Smiler article seems to be a darkened version of this image from the video of an alligator inside a sewer. And now onto the pool rooms. So the pool rooms are a level of the back rooms where the whole level looks like a pool area filled with lukewarm water. There is also a lot of bright lights inside this level and is considered a safe level. Unless you go to the dark areas of this level, which are not safe. Well anyways, these images and GIFs or GIFs or whatever they're called have always been linked to the pool rooms and they were created by a man named Jared Pike. So this is Jared Pike's website. And he also has a YouTube channel where he made his own pool rooms found footage video. There is a link to that video in the description, so do check that out if you're interested. So ultimately, it was Jared Pike's designs that ended up creating the pool rooms, which has since become one of the most famous backrooms levels. And I think we can thank Jake and his designs for the pool rooms, basically. Alright, so now let's move on to almond water, which is a pretty famous backrooms object, which if you were to drink, you'll heal from both physical and mental injuries that you incur within the back rooms. And this is what almond water bottles look like inside the back rooms. So let's see where these images came from. So almond water actually has some interesting history behind it. So Victoria's Kitchen almond water was created by Deborah and David Minion, who were a French couple who produced a drink based on a family recipe. Apparently they started selling this drink in 800 stores in 2012, and the couple appeared on Shark Tank in Season 6, asking for a $200,000 investment for 20% of their company. But unfortunately, despite the product's good taste, they left without a deal due to concerns about their business plan, apparently. But however, their story didn't end there, because in 2017, Victoria's Kitchen, who produced almond water, was acquired by a beverage brand called Hispanica International. But since then, updates have been sparse, with the product being out of stock on retail sites and the company's Facebook page being dormant since 2019. So that is the story behind Almond Water, the photographs of which eventually became the backroom's object. And with that being said, now let's move on to level 188, or the Windows level. So the entirety of level 188 is this building right here. And apparently the windows you see on this building have entities behind them. And if you were to get close enough to one of these windows, these entities will drag you into these windows and no one knows where these entities take you. But what we do know is what this place is. It's a hotel. It's called the Holiday Inn Express, apparently, and you can find it inside the Heathrow Airport in London. In fact, this is actually one of the most well-known original backrooms locations. And if you ever find yourself there, take a photo or video, I guess. Oh, and also, level 188 did get a rewrite on the backrooms wiki.art page. And on the Wikidot, it is no longer what it used to be. It went from being a building with a lot of windows to a planet, it seems. 
but it's still the same on the background's fandom wiki. And also, fun fact, this image of 188 was actually posted on the same 4chan thread where the original background's creepy poster was created. Here it is. Okay, so next up is level 399, aka the Neon Paradise. So 399 is said to be a very safe level, it has the appearance of a building and there are a lot of neon lights all over the building. It also has three sections, the Rosatin Hotel, the Neon Natatorium, and the final arcade. There are no harmful entities on this level, making it even safer, so anyways, these are some of the images depicting this level. And according to the article itself, these photographs came from the Regal Elmwood Center, which from what I can tell is a movie theater complex in Buffalo, New York, which is where all the superheroes live right here. Is that true? And now, let's talk about the Hounds, which are also a popular group of Backrooms entities. So this is apparently what a Hound looks like, and it's been described in this Backrooms Figure Out article as the following, basically. Hounds are entities named for their dog-like behavior. They move on all fours and attack when provoked. These beings or entities look human but have limbs designed for four-legged travel. They are said to be aggressive, however, direct eye contact can intimidate them. And they also have the ability to turn humans into more hounds. But anyways, let's talk about this image, which is actually a video used in the Hounds Backrooms article. So this short clip came from a video known as Insane Asylum, found footage horror film. So like the title says, it's a found footage horror film of a group of people exploring an abandoned asylum. And 11 minutes and 47 seconds into this video, you can see what we now know as the Hound showing up. I left a link to this video in the description, so do go check it out if you're interested. Alright, so now let's talk about Backrooms Level 3, also known as the Electrical Station. So Level 3 of the Backrooms, in case you don't know, features a maze-like layout filled with electrical machinery and extensive piping. And these pipes are said to contain varying substances, some empty, Others filled with water-like fluids. Metallic bars and windows of unknown purposes also exist inside this level. And of these windows, the ones that can be accessed reveal nothing but grayish clouds outside. But the good news is that areas inside level 3 with windows tend to be safer than the rest. There are also a lot of unmaintained wires inside this level. And apparently these wires can cause paralysis and uncontrolled movement if touched. And finally, signs with cryptic, undecipherable text and numerical values are also found throughout this level, which might be part of some kind of pattern. So basically, all these aspects create an environment full of mystery and unanswered questions, but the one question that we can answer is where all these images used to depict this level came from. Well, they came from Flickr. From the accounts of both Steve Mays and MTA Construction and Development. So Steve posted these images all the way back in 2013, and apparently the photographs are of a penitentiary in Jefferson City, Missouri. Steve apparently took these photographs when he visited this place as part of a tour. And this image was posted by MTA Constructions from one of their sites, probably. And now, finally, we don't know where the original Backrooms Level 0 image came from, but we do have some information on it, which I have covered in this video, so check it out if you're interested. And also, if you have the time and if you like supporting the channel, you can do so for a dollar or more a month by checking out my Patreon, a link to which I have left in the description, so do check that out if you have the time. Anyways, that's it. Goodbye and have an awesome rest of the day and stay hydrated.